everyone. Hello class, my name is Mrs. Raven and I have my friend with me here, Rara. Hi kids, I'm here to cheer you on. And we are going to play the long division game. The long division game? Yes, would you like to play it with me? I'd love to, I love math games. Would you like to play the long division game with me? Come on, let's try. All right, first we're going to look at a few words in long division. This number here, this says 747 divided by five. The numbers that are in this division sign, this number is called the dividend. So the number that you're going to be dividing is the dividend. The dividend! That's correct. This number that's going to be doing the dividing is called the divisor. The divisor! And the number we get at the end is going to be called the quotient. The quotient! So, I call this method, I call this the rainbow method of doing long division. The rainbow method? Why do you call it the rainbow method? Because we're going to actually draw a few rainbows in doing this method. So, how do we start? We look at our dividend and we start by looking at the first digit in the number 747. The first digit is 7. And the first step is we're going to ask ourselves a question. We're going to say, what number, we're going to put a line here, what number when multiplied by the divisor is less than or equal to this first digit? What number when multiplied by the divisor is less than or equal to this first digit? Let's see now, huh? Well, if I put a one there, let's try one. One times five is five. Is five less than or equal to seven? Yes. All right, so let's try it. One, and we're gonna put a rainbow. This is why it's called the rainbow. One times five, and we're gonna put the number right here, is five. That's step one. And the second step is write it. So we're gonna write the one, one times five is five. Now, we're going to do step three, subtract. What is seven minus five? Two, so we put the two here. Now we're gonna do what's called compare. We're going to compare this number with the five to make sure that it's less than five. Why? because if it's more than five, then this number was too small. So it's good, we compare and it's less. The next step is bring down. Step five, bring down. So we're going to bring down this number and we're gonna put it here, 24. And now we're going to start again. Start again? Yes, we're going to move over to the next place, make a line, and we're going to ask ourselves the same question. What's the question again? We're going to say, and we're gonna make a rainbow, what number, when multiplied by the divisor, is less than or equal to 24? So, do you know the answer to that? What number, when multiplied by five, is less than or equal to 24? Do you know your five times tables? Yes, I do. Let's do it. 5, 10, 15, and 20. 25, stop. 25 would be 5 times 5. That would be too big. Yeah, so it must be 4. Let's try 4. 4 times 5 is 20. So we're going to put the 20 here because 5 would have been too big. So. We asked ourselves the question, we wrote down the answer. Four times five is 20. Now we're going to subtract. Subtract. 24 minus 20 is four. And now we're going to compare. Is four less than or equal, well less than, is four less than five? Yep, four is less than five. In that case, we can bring down. So now we're gonna go to the next 
the next number here, and we're going to bring that down. Now we have the number 47, and we're going to start again. Go all the way back to the top. We're going to move over to the next space, and we're going to ask ourselves, what number, when multiplied by the divisor, will be less than or equal to 47? So, what number, we're going to make a rainbow, what number, when multiplied by the divisor, is going to be less than or equal to 47. And there are rainbows going to come up, touch the 5, and come down underneath the 47. Let's count by 5s again. 5, 10, 15, and 20, 25, and 30, 35, and 40, 45, and 50. Well, 50 would be too big. That would be 10. So 45 is 9 times 5 is 45. Right. So that must be the answer. So 9 times 5 is 45. So we're going to put 45 under the 47. We asked ourselves, we wrote it, now we're going to subtract. 47 minus 45 is 2. We're going to compare. Is 2 less than 5? Yep! Two is less than five. Now we're going to bring down, right? Well, look, there's nothing else to bring down. So if there was something to bring down, we'd start again. I have yes. But if there's nothing else to bring down, we're going to write the remainder next to 149 like this. We're going to either do remainder two, that's one way of doing it, or our answer could be in a fraction. And how we do that is we take the remainder and we put it over the divisor. So the answer could be and two-fifths. So 747 divided by 5 is what? 149 and two-fifths. Or we could have said 149 remainder 2. That is correct. So I hope you enjoyed this introductory first lesson in long division. Thanks for watching. God bless.